was I'm back here with the to be So right, you guys see me here, let me show to me. I'm still in. You guys see me here, I'm going jump down and see me. NHL 24, we are poker. Let's only see more time. Let's go right through. Okay, so my, my team is playing out again. But this time, facing balls. Whoa. Inside the defensive zone. Quick pass to Kreishi. Feeds it on over to Pasternak. And he was ready for that save. Good. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Lots of time left in this period. Still scoreless in this one. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Gives them nothing in Good. front. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Carlo's been struggling to put up some numbers, and it can be frustrating to head into a pointless streak and continue. When that happens, you start to get down on yourself. It can really affect your confidence. You gotta focus on the little things and try and keep good habits. We got a whistle. Deals. Penalty coming up. Score. That's the They're gonna be shorthanded. Sure the ball. Ball. Power play unit comes out for the faceoff. Well, they haven't scored on the power play yet, man. It is a tough thing to do, and this is an earned opportunity. They practice, they know what they're doing. It'll come. Detroit's got the win off that draw. Donaldson's penalty has expired, and he'll join the penalty kill as they remain shorthanded. The Bruins play it along the board. Moves it in front, and that's intercepted. Nearing the midway mark of the period. We're still scoreless. The Bruins get a hold of the draw. We got a whistle offside to call. Score. Both well, teams are set. We'll drop the puck here. Draw. And a great heads up defensive play here. Detroit's got it along the wall. The Bruins gain control of the puck. Pass across to McEwen. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. Loses his balance on the play. And that pass attempt is deflected. Slick feed. And he'll likely feel that one in the morning. And he takes the feed. Moves it to McAvoy. Oh, a true warrior to block that. And the puck's not loose. They are really buzzing here in the offensive end. There's a touchback for the check. Gotta figure he knows about this next milestone. He's only one goal away. Turn that one aside. There's another so great save. These guys can obviously see. The Bruins are across the line. Not even the 10 minutes into the game. There's already been enough stuff. The Bruins have it behind the case. And he rings the Bruins. So frustrating when you don't get the bounces, you just miss as that one goes off the pipe. You gotta wonder if you get the opening goal, the momentum's all in your favor. Past the midway mark of the frame. Still no score in this one. Boston's won the draw. Feeds it over to DeBrus. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Bertuzzi. And he takes the feed. Oh, and that one misses. Oh, everyone wants to be the hero, James, and he missed it as he looks up at the sky in frustration. You can bet if he gets another opportunity, he's one to want to cash in. What a chance. Guess why? So you hit the net. Think he's got to get back to it and work on it. Steps inside the line. Here's a shot. Makes the save, but barely with that one. Oh, God, stops the game. They are really pouring on the pressure here. 
category. So full. Did you guys know? And we're moments away from Nobody getting back underway here with the puck drop. Still, in terms of who's gonna score first, I don't know. We're gonna have to wait and see, obviously. Like, whoa. Here in the late goings of the period, the game is still scoreless. Larkins won it in their own end. Takes the feed. Moves it around along the half wall. Solid check to slow him down. Great forecheck by Donaldson. Larkins taking a nasty whack, and that's going to draw a penalty. Let's see what the officials say. Well, he was kind of using his stick as a weapon there, James. He was hacking and whacking, and these are the types of calls that need to be made because they can result in an injury. And that's the one that's for doing his best work in the defensive zone. Guys, his stick-em-up zone ability, it's what allows him to make great use of his stick checking to defend in his own end of the ice. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Comes up with the stop. The Bruins move so the puck so into the so zone. My team has done it out of his own end. On the puck. Looks to make a play over to Costa Spare. Oh. Detroit's oh. power play expires. Both sides back to even strength here. And we are still tied. Well, that power play really wasn't effective at all, James, and Coach won't be happy. A lot of possession time, but it correlated to nothing. You have to create some motion and be quick to be able to open up seams and lanes to the net. Perron's been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. Late in the period, in a close game, a tough penalty to take, James. But if they can just kill it off and get to the intermission, they can reset to start the next period. So folks, this guy's gonna be pass him for his period. Alright, there's the end of period number one. We'll take a break. This appears on um, charge. Like you guys obviously two, saw and we're coming before my player went out to number two right after this. It appears there are two triple times on the gonna be going to suck up period number two and yeah, both yeah. set to go. Detroit's won the opening face-off, and their power play continues. Angles it over to Perron. Sensational stop by Sweden. Well, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be scared to the shooter, that's a great save. Heinen's ready for the draw, so he continues to try to kill off this penalty. Boy, Boston's won the face-off deep in their own end. Pucks then down the ice. Moves it quickly over to Raymond. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. Detroit's looking to break out. Here's a short pass to Larkin. Denies him! He got all of it! Boston's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. Score. Cuts to the paint. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. Locks it down! of pressure trying to get it out oh great work getting the puck out of the zone james when i played this is my bread and butter i never saw power play time but i saw a ton of pk time and you knew when that puck was on your stick you had to clear not only to get fresh legs on the ice but now you can contest the neutral zone and defend the blue line on entry that is the critical piece to any pk unit made the stop on that play quick feed to donaldson Steal. Let's go, My team was able to score. Just go. James, the game is more than X's and O's. Sometimes it's emotional dog. leadership that comes into play, and that's exactly what this goal means to this entire bench. As you see, everyone erupts when he scores. The Red Wings have been pushing and pushing and pushing, and they've got the two guys on this. Really My like player was able to get these. Which is key element, especially when you're getting a ton of chances and you haven't been able to cash in. But they do execute, they convert, so this should open the game up for them. A shot! Oh, what a great glove save on the play! We're still in the early stages of this period. Detroit's ahead, 1-0.
The Red Wings will go to work here in the offensive zone. Let's it fly! Big save by the goaltender! And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. The Red Wings lead here in the second period and may have been the more active team offensively. Larkins won the draw. Driving right to the front! Oh, what a stop by Swimming! And the puck's in the low slot. The goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. Knocks it into the offensive zone. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Quick pass to Costa Spare. So full. This is a guy who's Inside the offensive zone. Shot denied by the goaltender. The Bruins scoop it up along the boards. Taken along the wall by Marchand. You guys can all just it in. There's been a the bunch of back. Got control of it now from their own end. Still, and it's a quick pass to Costa Spare. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Quick pass over to Marchand. And he takes the dish. Krejci stick handling in his own zone. And he coughs it up with the pass. And now it's grabbed by Krejci. On the attack, they come down the right wing. Puck picked up by Marchand. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Comes up with a monster save in front. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. Well past the midway mark of this period. Story. Detroit's up one. So close. This guy's going to play it from the defense. Now we're zone. halfway on. Up on along the wing. Pass the scheme. No, we're over halfway done the scheme. Sends the pass over. And to me, this is where the fun begins. Fires it. This no is the last. For that shot to go oh. through. Where's the end part? Let me see it. Battle along the wall. Detroit's got a hold of the puck now. The Red Wings get a hold of the puck. Oh, what a save with the guard! Deep. Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, Score. right in the middle of it, with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. The Red Wings take it along the wall. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Well, the shooter's gonna run out of real estate because he does a great job of getting out on top of the crease and taking away all the room. When you make yourself as big as possible, there's less holes in the net. Puck possession so critical in today's game, and the official ready to drop the puck right here. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside so the offensive zone. School, the Bruins have it now. Obviously, now it's time. Moves it quickly over to Zaka. Let's see what happens. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Nice dish from the left wing. Larkin's been great tonight, James. He's got a goal in the game, but now the score is tied. He'll be looking to break it for his team. Boston's playing it through center. Quick shot. Diaz. Score. That the goaltender, James, I had not much room available, but that one, perfectly executed. That's not good, obviously. Now my team is... Which well, the goaltender has no chance of catching up to this puck. I mean, man, he puts some hot sauce, some pepper, and some mustard on this quick release shot all at once. The Bruins pick up the all-important lead here as we inch closer and closer towards the second intermission. Well, anytime you score on the back half of a period, it certainly creates some much-needed momentum. Momentum that you want to carry forward to the intermission, and you can have a lengthy conversation about it and start the third with a bang. Detroit's got the puck here in the open ice. Puts it on net! What a blocker save by Sweeman! Puck scooped up by Mitchell. Here's a short pass to Krejci. The Bruins play it along the wing. There's the whistle. That pane of glass was busted after that heavy shot. Sure. Probably terrified those fans right behind it. Yeah, everyone was flinching, just thinking that puck was going to go straight through. But a testament to how strong the glass is nowadays. It doesn't shatter, it just simply spiders. Nonetheless, it has to be replaced. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. Shot! Oh, save of the play! Whoa! Oh, Here's not 
Well, the bench doesn't like this call, James. It's untimely to say the least with that one goal lead. Now the PK unit, they gotta get out there and they gotta do a job. Coyle's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. And sneaks in and grabs possession. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Puck move back to the neutral zone. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. Detroit's got the puck in the defensive end. Quick feed to Larkin. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Lindholm. The Bruins are in a tight game. They've got to start making good on all those interceptions where they've been great spots and finding ways to get the puck. Doing a great job defensively, but they've got to convert. And he puts it away to make the save. And he can't hang on after that hit. Delayed penalty coming up here. Whistle blown, stopping the play. So, so well, that's a frustration penalty. I've taken many of those in my day, James. It's, it's going to be a cross-checking penalty. Once you extend now your arms, four. you're in trouble. Puck set to drop. We've got some four-on-four four coming up. Not typically that we see four-on-four four action, although it's a lot of fun. You certainly know they practice it in practice. This is something that they're aware of. They know what they're doing. They want to possess the puck and try and create numerical advantage. Boston's got a chance to go to work on the power play here after their penalty expired. So That's this guy is not a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better <laughs> job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high tier scoring chances eventually go in. Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face off here on this power play. So close, you guys. Can 40 minutes down, still That's another in 20 the to go period. here in this one. Still, Join us. We're gonna be going to the final Next. period. And let's see what happens. Hope you're having a great night. Two periods down, one more to go, and they're ready to drop the puck here on period number three. They have dropped the puck here in the third. Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts? The Red Wings are behind after two periods, James, and it's no surprise here. They're not managing the puck. They're not transitioning, and if you give it away, you can't generate any offense. Tucks a shot. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Swayman. Let's have a look at that last save again. It was absolutely incredible. You're under pressure. You're under attack. Score. Guys, no, this is the like, Bruins come up with the we're basically, so yeah, we're basically a minute. Here. We're basically really a minute quiet tonight, fight. James. And typically in the booth, we find a way to talk about them a lot, and we haven't tonight. But the good part is this game is still close, and the best players they find a way to bring their best when it matters most. Good. The Red Wings have had plenty of good looks, but they still trail early in this third period. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Gets it over to Raymond. Receives the pass. Denies him in close. I really like to save James because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. Quick pass to Pasternak. Handles the puck. The Red Wings gain possession in their own end. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. Stretches one out to Saka. Moves it over to Pasternak. Moves the puck. Went for the dirty dangle, and it goes sideways. Donaldson's trying to get a little too fancy with the puck there, and as a result, he loses it. Great reach by Bertuzzi. Playing big in the moment there. Scooped up along the wall by Shattenkirk. The Red Wings move it in. So folks, as you guys have obviously seen, there hasn't been much going on during the final period. Smith's Whoa. got the puck in his own zone. The Bruins they have talk about it too. Oh, they're looking to make something happen through the neutral zone now. Puck is grabbed here inside the offensive end by Pasternak. Still has possession. 
Slides it over with pace to Mitchell. D. The Red Wings take possession of the neutral zone. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. Well, with one goal lead, and there's a small margin of error, James, and to protect it, you can't be in the box. Now they're shorthanded, and they got to find a way to kill it off. Larkin sends a face-off shot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. Detroit's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Turn that chance aside. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. Detroit's got a hold of the puck. I don't think anybody was hanging on to the puck after that hit. The Bruins get a hold of it. Detroit's regained possession of the puck. So now Fishy over half of them. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Donaldson. Great defensive play to come up with the puck. And they'll dump it in. Detroit's got the puck. Moves it quickly over to Larkin. The Red Wings played along the boards. And he slides it quickly to Raymond. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Here he is with the back hand. And he'll hang on to the puck for a much needed whistle. Well, and this is huge, James. The ability to slow the game down, get a line change. There's no one happier than the coach right now. Chance to reset here on the draw on this man advantage. Past the midway mark in this period. Boston's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Good. The Red Wings take possession off the faceoff. Steps in with the block. And he takes the pass. Cuffs up possession of the puck. Sends it quickly to Larkin. Feeds the puck to Dumoulin. Oh, he caught him! Uh, and that's a thunderous hit along the boards. It's bone-crushing, James. You feel that one right from your toes all the way up to your shoulders. Talk about finishing a check. Dumped in, and they'll go off. Donaldson's taking it from his own end. And that one's picked off! Boston's ahead in this game because of the production of that second line. And this is a nice luxury to have when you've got depth on your bench. You can look down it and really create some internal competition for the ice time. And he makes a save on that play. And that goes off the body. Bertuzzi's got it along the boards. Here's a short pass to Cobb. Great defensive effort with the stick. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Scurry. Defensive end. Detroit's got the puck against the board. And puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. He's done! My team is in the score. My team is still. Guys, on the When my player was on the bench, sure the, the guys saw me swing the next shift. It appears Boston scored two goals in still, which isn't good, obviously. But Larkins won the draw at center. Detroit's got the puck against the half wall. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. And a huge stop by the goaltender at point blank range. The game, you know that the coach is going to choose players who are dependable and know yes. he scores. Score. Will die. And still score. That's all. Now my team is losing like by the the mentality which is right away on the inside of the post, just recognizing that there was enough of an opening, and I think that the goaltender thought it was covered. The Bruins continue to bring up the score here in period number three. Well, it's just been a terrific collective effort. Now they're on the home stretch, and the coaching staff has a real opportunity to utilize their bench, rest their star players, and this is critical when you're in a long season. Quick feed to Larkin. Broken up by Lindholm. And that goes off a player. Coming up on the final minute of regulation. 
Wrestle folks. We're here and finally. Guys, gloves. My team is gonna lose. In the final moments of this period, Boston's been showing relentless pressure lately. Now up by three. Good. Detroit's gonna start with the puck in their own end. Raymond's moving the puck through his own zone. Detroit's on the attack. Here's a shot. Here's a shot. What save? Detroit's time is running out in this one to try to even things up. They've had plenty of scoring chances, but no finish tonight. Larkin's got it, and they'll go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Score. Boston's on the attack. He's got a step. Now my team is losing my which isn't good, obviously. Boy. The center may glide into position. Larkin's quick stick lands on the puck here at center. Takes a shot. Oh, what a save as he gets that one, too. Just fantastic work by the goaltender, making consecutive. So folks, guys, guys. Right there to make the stop on that play. That's the end. And that's all she wrote Whoa. from this one here tonight. Folks. An emphatic win, and we can put that W as a capital. Well, it's almost as if their opponent were defeated before the game started. I mean, you can see it in the... So folks. As you guys can obviously see, I'm getting ready to go back to the menu and more folks. So, folks, as you guys can obviously see, like this video is getting long. All right, let's it's take almost a look at some of the final hour. scores in the long. league tonight. Still, the Bruins once faced again, off with the Red Wings. Boy, Boston folks. played pad the stats night, winning you guys easily can in this one. See. We the are back battled here it out in against the Kings. same old. Anaheim screen. tapped into another gear late, and they pick up the victory. The Hawks were on the road to take on the Blues. St. Louis popped home the overtime winner to take the two points. We gotta take a quick break, but we got a lot more coming so your way folks, next. So, folks, you guys can obviously see my team's next game is gonna be on the road facing All right, Washington. at this time, everyone, we'll catch you up on what went down and all the action in the league tonight. The Rangers right now, were on the road to take on the Maple Leafs. To Toronto tucked this one out, picking I'm up not the gonna go any further with today's video. The Cats Simply were hoping not. their offense would I'm show up in the next against video the Devils. In New Jersey proves to be too much in the extra frame. We got a jam-packed.